Welcome back. Just about 20 minutes till the top of the hour. Connecticut officials are promoting mental health resources at state, as state residents are struggling with issues, things like suicidal thoughts, substance abuse, all this during the pandemic. Joining us to talk more about this subject, Kevin Young, the Assistant Training Director of Psychology at Hartford HealthCare. Good morning, Kevin. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for the opportunity to chat this morning. Well, we have really been wanting to delve deeper into mental health during the pandemic. Do you have any advice? Let's just start initially with some advice. I, I want to get right out of the gates and let people know that they are not alone with everything that's happening in the world. So many people are feeling this way. Sure, absolutely. So um, and we've done some research on this, and it's really the, the things that are important for folks from a coping standpoint is to um, we've lost a lot of the basic skills and the basic um, uh, coping skills that we generally rely on. Um, what folks can do is really think about structuring their day, scheduling time for themselves, um, scheduling downtime in their day, so time away from work, time where they uh, can access their friends, family, social life in a, in a socially distant and safe way, and then really increasing healthy coping skills, things like exercise. It looks like these are the, whether it's the social activities or the uh, exercise, they're really critical to keeping people healthy and decreasing symptoms of anxiety and depression. Um, at the same same time, we want folks to avoid things like increasing substance use, isolating, um, isolating activities, things like just relying on TV and computer or increasing work. Those seem to be correlated with um, worse psychological functioning. So we really want to encourage folks to engage in those pro-social activities. So that's things that people can do on their own. Are there any other resources that families can utilize? We know. Um, Suicidal thoughts, that's really been going up. It's, you know, experts have said that they've been dealing with more people who are expressing those concerns, uh, and that's just jarring to even hear. How do you process that information, and where do we go from here to try and help those folks who are having those types of thoughts? Sure. The resources I'll give you first. There's always two on one that anyone can call in the state of Connecticut to get emergency help. Also, Hartford Healthcare has put up a community care center hotline. It's 833-621-0600, and they'll um, help folks with their uh, their mental health needs. And they also can connect them to other resources um, depending on what they what their needs are. At, you know, at the time that are causing them distress. The suicide data is really concerning. It's really concerning for myself and anyone else who's a mental health care professional, but in the general community. Um, when you look at the data, the last time that Connecticut DPH put out data was in September that I have access to. And what was interesting, there was actually a 20% decrease in suicide um, from a five-year comparison. But at that same period of time, there was a 20% increase in overdose are at risk for suicide right now. So first of all, suicidal ideation is, is worrisome in and of itself. Um, but there's been a shift in who um, the folks are who are unfortunately dying by suicide at this time. Um, and people of color... Um, it seemed to be at higher risk than they were pre-pandemic, which kind of makes sense because there's disparities, healthcare disparities, and, and they are um, differentially affected by um, COVID and, and the effects of it. Um, and so, and also, we've had some evidence that there was a recent increase in risk for um, youth as they return to school, and there was some tragic stories um, in September um, at, at, with the stressors that are related to that. The suicide's complicated, and the there ha have been some protection factors that are natural to the pandemic as well. Um, people are home and they're with their families and be, not being isolated actually decreases your risk for suicide. But it doesn't mean that folks are, are feeling good. In, in our surveys and in the national surveys that have been done, um, there's a massive increase in depression, anxiety, insomnia, um, post-traumatic symptoms, things of this nature. And those are all risk factors for um, suicide, but also just for general misery. And it's, it's important that folks really do take extra effort to engage in those social and pro-social um, coping skills um, to combat the, the psychiatric symptoms. Um, and with that, the risk for suicide will also decrease. Well, Kevin, we thank you so much. Certainly a very important topic. That number 211 resources are available, folks not alone in this. Kevin, thank you.